Hello, Mysterio Campers. Um, this is Anthony, and I am going to show you some things to put on pedestals today. Um, when you make art, or when you have things that you find precious, if you put it on a pedestal, it makes it a little more important. And sometimes it's fun to tell a story with those things that you put on a pedestal. And I wanted to show you a variety of different things that you could use as pedestals to show off either your toys or something you find special. Um, and I just wanted to let you follow along as I put some things onto some pedestals. Okay, so hopefully you have some things to play with. Um, I'm going to start by showing if you just take, um, I'm going to hopefully set this up so that you just get to watch my hands while I explain um, what I'm going to show you. So let's see if I can turn this around for you to just follow along. With my hands on both sides. So, sometimes if you, you, you put an object together, you know, with something else, and it just kind of disappears, right? But if you put a pedestal so that you're bringing up one of the objects, all of a sudden it becomes a little more interesting and so this is about color. Now I don't know if I'm too close and you can see it or if it's too high. So let me bring it back here a little bit. Yeah, it needs to go a little lower. Let's see how that looks. I'll go ahead and lift up the camera and show every time I put a little collection together. So, and I wanted to also show you that no matter how small things are, there's something about putting it on a pedestal that makes it interesting. So, for example, if I take this little clear cube, okay, and I put this little soldier on it, okay, all of a sudden it just looks a little bit more important. Can you see that okay? Now, the other idea that I have is if you take a block of wood, like, you know, any old block of wood like this, and you put a post in it, then you can take, like for example, this old doll head is, all of a sudden it becomes a little more important, right? And then, if you want to have it um, have another sense of a toy next to it, you could always go ahead and, and put something else by it so that it becomes a story with things together. Get it to lean here somehow, some way. Okay. So you can put these things on a shelf um, just to have some memories of uh, things that you used to play with um, or people gave you as gifts because they go out and buy crazy things at vintage stores, which is kind of fun. And then another thing you can use as a pedestal is a wooden box. So this little wooden box was a present from Yoshiko, Nozomi's mom. And if you put something, you know, on it, I don't know if this is going to stand up. You might have to use the little plastic thing this came with. The softness is causing a problem for this guy's head. So this will work. Okay. Now, I have to say that sometimes it's fun to, I want to show you one more small thing, by the way. So here's a picture of my niece, Cammie, 
and her first baby, Mia. And I think it's fun sometimes to put a photograph with a little object next to it. Something, oops, something that has you think of the person, you know, and then I'm going to use this, have one monkey, and then I'm using this little box um, to accompany and be the pedestal for the other little monkey. So these are some family members that I just think are really special and precious. And I was just helping um, the environment. And you can put this on a side table or however you want to feature it. And sometimes uh, it's okay if you're using a box, for example, this box. Of course, you want to go ahead and make sure things are clean. So I've got to clean the lid on this box. Using a little bit of wood product to give it some luster. This is from a very good friend of mine, Sean. Now see how this detail is at an angle? So if you turn it at the angle, right? And then I'm gonna bring in an object to put with this. It's kind of like I'm not using a pedestal with this particular thing, just because I wanted to have the box be the pedestal for the little shape that's on it. So see how this tells a little masculine story with the anteater and this really cool box for my friend Sean. Okay. And then, if you want to, because this particular box has a detail on it, look what this is. You remember these from Mysterio? These are my tattooed arms. You can turn the lid upside down so it becomes a pedestal and you can put something on it that you find kind of playful. Now do you like the way that looks? Or would you rather have it be a little more serious? So we can put this little frog on it. It came from Mexico City. Now, the other option is, because pedestals don't always have to be square. So remember the monkeys? If we do a, y, a cork screw, we can go ahead and put the monkey on the corkscrew very carefully so that it has a fun little playful feel. And this is a round pedestal using a corkscrew. See how that looks? Do you like those monkeys playing their instruments? I do. So then, another opportunity to do something round
is when you use a when you use a candle and your candle is finished burning you can take the empty candle make sure you take the metal piece out the bottom and you can turn this over okay and you can have it you know feature something that you kind of find fun like this old Gumby doll and this is having a little bit of a contrast involved or remember this head see how that looks and then there's also this little figurine so see how it just kind of makes it more prominent with this feel of being on a pedestal and then I wanted to also say if you wanted to even have it look more important the other option too is you can always put a glass dome over it. Of course this one's a little too tall so I've got to make it shorter. So how I can make it shorter is switch out the candle holder for a wooden piece And there. So here we have a dome over the pedestal with a little precious piece to keep it protected and you don't have to dust it so often. So that's another round pedestal. And then here's something else I have to wipe down. Things don't always have to be tall. Um, for example, here's something that's flat. Got to get it cleaned up a little bit. and it's stainless steel. Okay. And then you can feature one of your toys. Of course, who knows who this is? It's one of the monsters that fought Godzilla. And then sometimes it's nice to put something together with it, but it's not by itself. For example, it could be a rock, okay? Um, and then If you wanted to put a dome over this, there you go. Now, one other thing, sometimes you have some old toys that need a little bit of attention. And so for example, this little bear, which I got in Tokyo, um, when things get dusty, if you just take a little toothbrush and dust it off, give it a little brush, that way it gives it 
brush off the tops of his arms. And then, this is a little doll holder. You pinch it on its neck, and that way it's just kind of floating there, right? And then if you want to, you can put something next to him on another little pedestal. So it's kind of like rocking the bears. Now sometimes, let's see here, I wanted to show you sometimes things come with the pedestal, so let me grab this. So this little guy came with a pedestal, okay? So it's just one of those things where it's designed to go with it. But if you want to change what it came with, you can always do this kind of thing to give it a different look. And see how that changes it? You may like it better or you may like the one that it came with, but that's your choice. So, and this is monochromatic where it's the similar color, which is a nice thing if you wanna pay attention to that. And then there's also another thing you can do where you have some contrast and you can tell a little story with a couple of things. So this is a beer mug from Kobe that a potter made me when I did her shop at Harbor Circus. So I like these things together. So now, I wanted to show you one other thing that's kind of fun. So this is a little this is a little candle and I think it's kind of fun if you get something like this it's electronic that has a little glow in it and then I'm going to put this little boy scout on it and I can put this little mountain crystal by him See how when you coordinate things together, it tells a little story? And then, that's a little serious, so you can also bring an element of play to it. Oops, there goes the stand. Sorry about that. Hello. back I'm 
Okay. Let's bring this box back. Now, because this particular box has a pad on the one side, I'm gonna go ahead and put it like this. And then I'm gonna put this little wagon on top of it with some marbles in it and then put the little Boy Scout in it. Which takes on a whole new feel. Okay. Now, in addition to things on pedestals, I actually wanted to show you um, another pedestal that had a unique shape and you can line things up on a pedestal, different things. So let me grab that for you. Now I have this little pedestal that's part of a sculpture. So, see how that looks with the two monsters on it? Got something on the side there. There we go. So see how that makes that interesting? I like how the shadow of the monster is on the orange page behind it too. All right, and then I'm gonna get a long um, box. Oops. Hold on, I'm gonna put the monsters away. One of the things when you do something that's long, like for example on this box right here, you remember that game? It's like which one of these things doesn't belong with the other? So if you put line up some things, right? I've got a little pedestal, crystal pedestal for this sulfur here. And then let's put this, which doesn't go with it. So, <clears throat> see how that tells a story? And it's just like that game where one of these things doesn't belong with the other three. It's like, what's the object that doesn't belong? Which I think is kind of fun to do sometimes. Okay, now, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Because you can also do this with your food on a plate, it's called plating where you make your food interesting. And um, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you to have a sense of humor. Ha ha ha. I'm using this pair of green sunglasses 
with his little guy who's a B-movie actor afraid of the sunglasses. Um, and I think it could be fun to actually raise it a little bit because it looks too low. So if I use this little crystal cube, that it, see how it has a little brain in it? And then that way it becomes more about the height of the object. See? So the whole point of this is that you get to have fun with what you make or what you have. And this is called the art of display, which is something that I did my entire life. And remember, just to have really fun time with what it is you're doing. Now you know what I think would be better on this one? If we got rid of the long piece, and put it on the round one. Which is just kind of fun. So, I hope you had a great time learning how to display things um, in your room or wherever it makes you happy. And um, just remember the pedestal helps to have some significance and importance about things. So I just hope you have a great time displaying everything that you find precious in your world. So thank you and I'll see you next time when we're going to make some heads out of vegetables. All right? Sculpting with vegetables.